Hey everyone, welcome back to this week's Teaching Thursdays. We're going to cover a topic that many of you may not even know about that was possible, but may be a great asset to your portfolio. We're going to talk about real estate investment trusts, or also known as a REIT for short. So in essence, um, you know, what is a real estate investment trust, or what is a REIT? So if you want to think about it, let's use it in the terms of title. So you know title's owned by Jay-Z, right? So here we have title. And so let's say that title is the actual REIT. Like that's that's the company is going to be the REIT. So the way that title works is Jay-Z has all these artists come in. So you have Jay-Z over here as, you know, the head honcho. And then he pulls in all these different artists to come in into title and put all their content exclusively on title for consumers like yourself and I. And so what happens is he's offering these people this platform to put their music on, but they're going to get a bigger percentage of profits from all the money that they make from their subscription service. So if you think about it, if you have all these artists down here that are coming into title, these artists are actually going to be the investors like you and I. So now we have that your REIT in essence is going to be title. And all the artists that come to work at Tidal are going to be the investors like us. So we're trying to work for the REIT even though we technically don't work there, we're owning the REIT. Um, and we'll get to that in a second how the artists are going to own their stuff too. So you have these artists coming in here to Tidal and so what happens is an investor, to get into the REIT you have to invest money, you have to put money up. So an investor puts money up to buy the REIT. Well what do the artists have to do? They have to provide music, they have to provide content to the consumers like you and I. So here you go, you have content. And so now that they provide this content, what does Tidal do? Tidal does a subscription service. So we have Tidal is providing a subscription. We'll put subscription. And that's how they make money. So now you want to know how does a REIT make money? Well, the way, the way it works is a real estate investment trust, they're going to buy property and they're going to make money off of the rent from the tenants or they're actually going to have mortgage loans and they're going to make money off of the interest. So just like you have um, a mortgage on your home, you're going to pay interest on that. So you're really paying more than what the price that you think you're paying for it. So that's how um, that's how the REIT is going to work. That's how they're going to make money. So if Tidal makes money off of the actual subscription, the REIT is going to make money off of interest payments for mortgages, interest, as well as rent payments from tenants. So like at apartment buildings or if it's like a shopping center or an office building, people have to pay rent to rent those spaces out. So it's going to be interest plus rent. Now, when Title makes this money from the actual subscription service, what are they going to do? They're going to give that money right back to the artists. And that's why the artists are so happy that Title is around compared to some of these other streaming services. So what happens with the REIT is the money that's made from the interest in the rent, where's it going to go? It's going to go right back to the investors. And actually, by law, a REIT has to pay its investors 90% of the profits that they make. So look at that. We will put that real big here. 90%. 90% of the money that a REIT makes, they have to pay back to the investors. So some of these REITs, and quite a few of them actually, pay out dividends, which that's how they pay the investors back. So just like an artist is going to make money in the form of just they're getting paid for their content, a REIT is going to pay the money back in the form of dividends, which you all know we've talked about dividends plenty of times. And so 90% of the money that is made from the REIT is going to go back to the investors in the form of dividends. And a lot of these REITs pay back on monthly dividends. Now most companies do dividends in the form of like every three months, but REITs a lot of times tend to pay them every month. So every month you're going to get a check or money deposited, debited into your account because of the REIT that you have. So if you want to, let's go ahead and sum this back up again here. So a REIT in essence, which is a real estate investment trust, we're comparing it to title. So you have title, which is going to equal your REIT, and then you have Jay-Z over it. Now, you know, Jay-Z could be whoever is running, running the REIT, you know, the people that are actually buying the property or getting the loans. 
So Jay Z is going to bring in artists to the company, just like a REIT is trying to bring in investors to buy into the REIT. So when the artists come into Title, they have to provide content, right? They have to provide content for consumers like you and I. So they provide content, and investors have to provide money, which is the content for the REIT to even function. Now, once the artists provide the content, Title issues a subscription service to people like you and I to buy that content. Just like a REIT is going to make money off of the interest in the rent. So Tidal is going to make money off of the subscription and a REIT is going to make money off the interest payments from the loans or the mortgages as well as the rent money from the apartment building, shopping centers, etc. So in essence, that's how a REIT is going to be like Tidal. And from the REIT, the subscription service, Tidal is giving their artists back a majority of their money that, that is owed to them that they feel that they're not getting from some of these other services. Just like a REIT is going to pay back most of the money that's owed back to the investors. That's why it's a great asset to your portfolio. Now, a REIT is actually traded on a stock exchange. So, it's going to perform just like a regular stock. Let's go ahead and clear this up here. And that's one of the things, like, if you think about it, we talked about ETFs before and how ETFs are like mutual funds that trade like stocks. Well, a REIT is similar to a mutual fund as well. So, like we've talked about mutual funds, and in essence, an ETF is kind of like a mutual fund where it's pulling different things together. And now we have a REIT, which is kind of like a mutual fund. And actually, some mutual funds focus on real estate properties or real estate securities, particularly for that mutual fund. So, if you think about it, if you can't afford to get in on a mutual fund for specific companies, then you might want to consider getting an ETF because it's a little bit cheaper. The same thing is if you can't get on a mutual fund that's dealing in real estate, you might want to get into a REIT because it's just a little bit cheaper. And like I said, they have to pay back 90% to their investors. So, you can invest. It's on the stock exchange. So, you know, if you look on your stock exchanges, so stock here we go, exchange. And if you think about a stock exchange, you know, you're going to have your NYS, NYSE are pretty, you know, a main one, as well as the NASDAQ, which is another main one. And, you know, you can just, just look, you know, you can kind of just Google what a REIT is. You know, um, they have a ticker symbol, just like any other company. So just like, you know, Apple and Microsoft or, you know, Ford has a ticker symbol, a REIT is going to have a ticker symbol as well. You know, it's the price is changing all throughout the day. And it's going to list um, when their, what their dividend is as well as how often they pay out. So whether if it's a quarterly or monthly um, dividend payout and how much it is. And so um, they're available during market hours, just like any other, you know, any other stock or ETF would be available um, for purchase. And, you know, any of us can purchase a REIT, you know. Um, I actually own a REIT right now, and it's the same process as buying an ETF or buying a stock. It's really not that hard to do. And so in terms of, we've explained how a REIT works, but we're going to, let's go ahead, go ahead and cover that again. So remember, a REIT is going to be a collection of, it's pulling money from investors um, to buy property. So a REIT's purpose is to buy property or mortgages. And so from the buying of property or mortgages, they're going to make money off of rent as well as interest. And so some REITs actually do both. Now you can have a REIT that does only making money off of rent, a REIT that does money only off of interest, and then you can have a hybrid that makes money off of both. And what happens is the money that's made off of both is going to go back to the investors. And that's going to be in the form of a dividend. And the dividend is just guaranteed money. Regardless of if the REIT is doing well, if it's not doing well, the investors are going to get dividend payments. And you want to try to find a REIT if you can find one that increases their dividend, you know, fairly often. A lot of companies, you at least would like them to increase their dividend yearly, but some companies actually increase their dividends even more frequently than that. So, in essence, um, you know, that's pretty much how a REIT works. Um, you know, they're buying up these properties. If you can't get into real estate directly, um, you know, that's, a real estate is a great asset to your portfolio. You know, having people rent out spaces, um, you know, flipping homes, whatever. But if you can't get into it and if you're looking for a, a lower price point, then a REIT in the stock market is a way for you to directly get into real estate, but also have a high liquidity amount. Because if you think about it, when you get into real estate, 
it usually has quite a bit of a process, you know, about at least 30 days to kind of really get your money made off of it. But with a REITs, it's a trade like a stock, you can buy it and then you can sell it right away. So it's highly liquid, you can make your profit off of it really fast. Except the dividend, you know, you gotta kind of wait for that to come out. Um, but that's just a great avenue in case you can't get into the real estate game. Or even if you're in the real estate game, it's just a great supplement to your real estate. Because now, let's say, you know, you're flipping houses, but you want to get into apartment complexes. But maybe you, you're not too comfortable yet. Well, try to find a REIT that, you know, owns apartment complexes and collects rent off of that. Or try to find one that owns a shopping center. You know, a lot of these places we're passing by every day, these REITs can own these shopping centers and we can make money off of that. So even if a particular company isn't a stock itself, or maybe a, a few companies aren't stocks themselves, you can actually buy a REIT that might actually own complexes that have these companies there and you can invest in them indirectly. You know, investing is a part of our everyday lives. There's stuff out there every single day. And the goal, of course, of Black Market Exchange, we're trying to make you healthy investors. That's why we got the Nutrition Fact shirt on. And you can definitely get that at brentmoney.bigcartel.com. Make sure you get your Healthy Investor shirt. Black Market Exchange, we're here to help you be healthy investors and make healthy decisions with your money. Um, so in essence, this is just a summation of a real estate investment trust or a REIT. We covered how it relates to title. We told you that it is related to a mutual fund, but it trades like an ETF and a stock. And as well as the process of how a REIT works in terms of how a REIT makes money, as well as how much money that's required by law for a REIT to give back to its investors. So make sure you stay tuned for future episodes of Teaching Thursdays.